welcome back. <laughs> My little pony. <laughs> so today we're gonna be eating <laughs> wing stop. Oh yeah, I was gonna say buffalo wings. Star, <laughs> star. Oh, that's good. Hey guys. Why you always want to do that? <laughs> Why you want to restart? <laughs> Why do we do that? So we actually feel like that. Restart, restart. <laughs> They gave us a good amount of ranch. They didn't give me boneless. Hers is juicy as f <laughs> Yeah, boneless. Ooh, it's spicy. Honestly, I don't even know what I ordered. So, what were we gonna talk about? What an embarrassing moment. I try to make myself forget about it because <laughs> I guess it was traumatizing. But Carmen's always remembering this one thing that happened in. I think four or five, I don't know. For you. Elementary school thing. Honestly, I'm always running late. Like, no matter what, I always end up running late. Wherever it is, always running late. I don't know what I was ordering. Lorena was right. Let's just say most of the 99% of the time, Lorena's gonna be right. We used to ride the bus, right? We honestly, that bus never, we never knew when it was gonna come. So we just had to be oh, yeah. early. That's what I hated. We never knew. For, this is our first time eating. Um, Wing stops and How let's you just say we show in our pickup. Yeah. We're standing there looking stupid. Dang, that looks like a hot Cheeto. You want a ranch? Yeah, let me get some ranch for my baby. She wants that whole thing, matter of fact. <laughs> you got trauma set. You want to try a ranch with fried fry? Drop the mic right here, actually. <laughs> want some ranch? But I feel like that one's. Oy. It's okay, it's a fried fry. But the bus experiences were something. It teach me things. Yeah, it teaches a lot of things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It taught me how to be a, a baddie. I remember when we first ride the bus, I couldn't stay awake. Mm -hmm. I always pass mm -hmm. out. I think don't help. You want my pick up my You want water? Is that beer? When you first go over there. She's a little. I didn't want to stop eating because I might actually get sick. Yeah, you can tell the story because I'm out here tragando. What did the bus career teach you? Teach me how to be violent. Teach me how to push little kids. How <laughs> tall are you, Carmen? Five two and a half. Guess how what high I am, guys? Yeah. Yeah. It teaches me how to hit kids, <laughs> to push kids like this. Get out the way. Yeah. Cause like everyone trying to go in the bus, all of them trying to go in the back seat, and I go in the front. <laughs> yeah. So losers go in the front. What? Cause I'm a loser. No, cause I'm a loser too. I I know this because girl, I'll be in the front seat, right behind the bus driver. <laughs> Well, they tell you the bus is gonna come at a certain time and to be there, but that it only comes by like sometimes it just didn't even come. <laughs> Me and Lorena <laughs> were Josh. in the same school for middle school for oh, like when she was in eighth grade <laughs> and I was in seventh grade. Uh, I remember that Lorena always wanted to fall asleep, <laughs> like she was like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. For me, uh, I'm both. I've been got, gotten bullied and I am the bully. And for you, Carmen? I got. I don't, I don't think Everybody I got, just loves you, huh? I don't think I got bullied. I think I got teased. Not really. Not I teased, call bullying. Uh -huh. But like. Shorty? <laughs> She's trying to gaslight herself. <laughs> they call me a shorty. And I've been the bully. It was in first grade. I got traumatized. I'm glad I left that school. It was during lunch. The skinny boy. For good the bullying. Yeah. Cause I didn't really say Oh, I saw that girl. We're talking about the girl that I supposedly, 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 supposedly bullied. This boy was next to me. We're sitting on the left table. And this one girl passed by. She is more bigger. Girl, I don't know how you not get canceled. <laughs> She's more bigger than She's, uh, she was passing by. And this, and this kid was like, look at 
that fat girl. <laughs> you could you could have been like this girl, and then you could have gone with your story. You didn't have to describe her yourself, cause it's basically you fooling her today. I'm fat. So we're all different type of fat. We all overweight. Our doctor told us we're overweight. <laughs> we're obese. Yeah. <laughs> According to the BMI, we're obese. The then I turn around, and I, and he was pointing at her. And I was like, her. I was like, yeah. Corey, <laughs> you know you're not supposed to point at people, too. I was like, first very, I was like, huh? I was like, yeah. And my parents, <laughs> you were like, this girl right here? At least in one way. But she was all the way over there. Like, the end of the, we were like in the middle of the table. She was at the end. But, uh, I guess she told her teacher. And she's like, I guess, I'm guessing she was like, that girl called me back. I don't know how she got it by pointing, but she got it. And so she told her teacher. Carmen, I think you are the bully. <laughs> I know this time you've been saying you're not. She told her teacher. And the teacher came up to me she and she was lie. like, Did you call that girl fat? <laughs> and I started crying. <laughs> I was like, no. And that kid who was like, Look at that fat girl. He was serious. I cried and he was staring at me. And she just took me to like the teacher's lounge and all that. Mm -hmm. And I saw Miss McKamey. And I started crying. And yeah. I you wanted to run to her or what? Yeah. And she talked to me. She's like, it's okay. Yeah. I'm going to put warning. Somos marranas aquí. Sorry, guys. Who I start with in that math class was the girl that I, I got bullied by. <laughs> Not that she bullied me. She should call me sure. Right. It was this notebook that I got for six years. It was like this binder. And we were chill back then. And one day at school, she was like, Carmen, I got the same binder. And I was like, really? When did you get it? And like, I don't know. My mom bought it. And she pulled it out of her book bag. It was a regular binder, but the front cover. <laughs> and I started laughing. In front of her face? Yeah, I started laughing too. No, and she pulled out like binder, like a regular binder with the front cover red. So that's why she said y'all have the same one. Yeah, I don't know why she, why she said that. Yeah. Kindergarten again. I'm glad I left that school. <laughs> I forget this all happening in the same school. <laughs> That's why I hate that school. I loved it there, but she hated it. This one came in my small group, and he got like this wooden pencil because kids like oh, he came in front of me, and he he was like twist his pencil and like stab me in the chat. And I went the, the pencil part or the eraser. The pencil. Part. <gasps> I told my mom and my my mom. Friend told the teacher, and the teacher, I think, told the student mom, but I don't know. So we're talking about the bus ride again, because I remember something. It's Too really many bus stories. If you guys ever ride a bus, put a bus emoji in the comments. If you guys don't come to the bus early, there will be no seats for you. I have experience of it. I was not the last one, but I was like close to the last one. There were like no seats, and my sister was in that bus. She was sitting with this other girl, and. So like I couldn't sit with her, so I was trying to find who I should sit with. And I told this girl, can I sit with you? And she's like, no, so I'm about to sit here. I'm like, okay. And I found this one girl. I knew her, so I asked her. She was like, yeah. She got like a lot of candy in her book bag. And we, we ate candy. The whole reason she was there looking for seats was because... I came late to the bus. Don't come late. Awesome. The bus, it doesn't only come late in the morning. It come late after school. Like when it was cold outside, the bus... Always don't even come or come late. It was like chilling there. Oh, so cool. Like, here's a picture of me. She looked like she belonged in an inside of igloo. Yes, because it was so cold. Another funny story that happened to me. I thought she would get mad at me. It was in second grade. We went to like a parent teacher conference. My teacher was like talking to my parents, talking about how I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, yeah, I can't write with this one pencil. Show the pencil. Cause they were like, what pencil? And I was shaking in my boots. I stole it from this girl. And she was me. And you might be asking what kind of pencils was she stealing? Is this pencil? This pencil. Paper made pencil. When I was pulling out, I was like, here's a pencil. I was shaking in my boots. And guess what? This girl didn't even care. She were you in shock when I didn't say anything? Yeah. I thought we were about to fight in school. I was in the bus. I was in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I had my favorite pink jacket from Walmart. My mom bought it for me. And I wore that.
every day doesn't matter if it was 80 degrees outside you saw me with that jacket it was a pink one right <laughs> yeah i literally just said it oh. you saw me with that jacket and guess who else had one this girl right here we were matching oh my god i hate that we actually and guess who else had that pink jacket this girl right here and, and then walmart just continued a year after that <laughs> So this day it was 80 degrees, one of those days. Guess who had a jacket on? This girl. These girls weren't carrying jackets, I guess. Usually when it's hot weather, our noses start bleeding. Which is weird. Apparently that's what my mom said. We were in the bus. We were already been sitting in the bus on our way home. When all of a sudden, this girl turns to me. Get up, but the bus was the bus driver's driving and you tell somebody who wants to and I was about to walk up down the aisle while this while the bus was driving and go to tell her my sister's nose is bleeding. I was like, I was looking around to my the other people in that side that bus and I was like, somebody help me, her nose is bleeding. Is this an emergency? Did he tell anyone? No, no. no. Way. Don't do that. It down. But I told her keep your head up, Lorena. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she kept it down because we were trying not to see her. So I was like, no, be like this. Be like this. <laughs> so, cause she was sitting on the outside of the bus, cause I wanted to be near the window. So she was oh, sitting. She was sitting outside the bus. To get this side, like right now, her nose stopped bleeding, so she should have had to fold up the jacket. Make sure nobody saw it, and we just got off the bus and we walked home. I, I told my mom throw it away. Guess what that girl did? She washed that blood away. She gave me that jacket the next day. And I wore it too. <laughs> Where it was dry. <laughs> um, this one kid, his nose bleeded, but he was sitting down on the bus. So he told the bus lady, and the bus lady gave him a pad. She was like, put it in the bus. Well, the bus lady like, pad, clean that. Girl, I had pads, but no tissues. <laughs> but, yeah. and Wait, why were they carrying pads though? So like they it was literally like, elementary too. It's it probably was, her. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I knew it was a pack. I kind of knew it was a pack, but kind of not. But now we're like, I'm, just sad. I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> These they both die. Especially <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Chihuahua. If you don't know, we have two Chihuahuas. We first went to the house. <laughs> Carmen, that's not a school story. That's not a public school story. It doesn't matter, but it's fine. Carmen, it matters. The video is going to be tied to public school. Okay, then cancel all that. We can tell childhood stories later. I thought meeting up at school. Carmen. I'm joking. My mom stepped on my nose. What? what? My mom stepped on my nose. <laughs> Carmen, that goes back to childhood stories. Cut that out. Now I want to talk about how I was in second grade and it was Lorena's time in first time in kindergarten. <laughs> so I was doing my regular schmegular. Oh my God, I, story time. I was on my regular schmegular morning routine at school. I had breakfast. We were starting a little a little ritual. I don't even know what we did. A little regular program schedule. Yeah. When all of a sudden, my teacher was talking to that. I was noticing she was back there talking, but then she looked. She, she was at the front door of the classroom and she looks back adriana and i walk up my little feet up there I'm like yes ma'am do you have a little sister and i was like yes she's like okay your little sister's out there crying can you calm her down and i was like okay i walked out to that little pod we had and i was like lorena why are you crying she's like I still have your mom. 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 I still
Mexican mom. Yeah, mom. this ain't my first round. I don't know where mom keeps always seeing that lady. Mm. I don't know, mom. You know the lady I'm talking like, about? I don't church? know who the lady is at all, but I just know mom's always going back from somewhere. Like every other mom talking about, oh, I saw that lady <laughs> that one time that she woke up. Oh, yeah. She I don't was, know who y'all. She pulled me back, and then she just couldn't. Even the principal on Make sure you like, <laughs> subscribe. Comment down below if you want another video. Comment down below if you want part two in childhood. Trauma. If you want another video. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do? Like! <laughs> <laughs> we just edited it. Turn that off.